Hello friends, welcome back to Civil Engineering Mastery. Today let's see how do we read the reinforcement details for columns. So here I have the column grid layout which is having 13 columns and this building is designed for stilt plus 3 upper floors. So before reading the column drawings, let's see few important details about column reinforcement. So it is not only column for all the structural members, we should know some basic details like what should be the minimum reinforcement and maximum reinforcement and what is the minimum die off bar and what is the spacing of bar should be provided. So these are all the major important things we should know for all the structural elements. So here I have column longitudinal reinforcement details as per IS 456-2000 class number 26.5.3.1. So according to this, the minimum reinforcement is 0.8% of cross-sectional area and uh, maximum reinforcement should be 6% of cross-sectional area. So but practically providing 6% of uh, reinforcement is not possible because placing and uh, compacting of concrete is very difficult if we provide 6% of cross-sectional area as a maximum reinforcement. So practically we follow 4% of Grass sectional area has a maximum reinforcement for column longitudinal bars. Next, minimum number of bars. Four number of bars should be provided in rectangular column and six in circular column. Minimum die of bar is 12 mm. Spacing of longitudinal bar shall not exceed 300 mm. So till now we had discussed about longitudinal reinforcement details. Next let's see about transverse reinforcement details. So here you may have a doubt that what is longitudinal bar, what is transverse bar in column. Let me show you with the reinforcement arrangement. So here we have the reinforcement details. The column size is 8 inch by 18 inch. So this is the outer line of the column. And uh, inside this blue in, blue lines indicates the reinforcement. Okay. Next, in this reinforcement detail, which is longitudinal bars and which is transverse bars. So here the circular bars are longitudinal bars. You can say as main bars as well. This blue line indicates the transverse reinforcement or lateral ties. We can also call it as lateral ties. So now you may think that why do we provide this transverse reinforcement or lateral ties in columns. The reason is this transverse reinforcements provide lateral resistance against buckling to the main reinforcement. The circular bars are the main bars or longitudinal bars. So this lateral ties provide lateral resistance against buckling to the main bars and also it helps to hold the main bars in place. It also reduces the shear failure in column. So these are the main reason why do we provide lateral ties or transverse reinforcement in columns. Now let's see the details about transverse reinforcement. As per IS 456-2000 class 26.5.3.2c the pitch of lateral ties. Pitch of lateral ties means the distance between so that depends on three terms, least lateral dimension of the compression member, 16 times the smallest diameter of longitudinal reinforcement or 300 mm. So among these three, whichever is less, that one we should use. For example, here, least lateral dimension of column is 8 inches. Okay, So this is the least uh, dimension and 16 times the smallest diameter of longitudinal reinforcement. Next condition is 16 times the smallest diameter of longitudinal reinforcement. For example, here um, imagine that this longitudinal uh, reinforcement dia is 12 mm. So then you have to do 16 times 12. So how much it comes? So that you have to compare with the least lateral dimension and then 300 mm. So among these three, whichever is less that value you have to consider as a pitch of lateral ties. Next one is diameter of lateral ties. So that means like uh, the ties diameter. So that one should not be less than one fourth of the diameter of largest longitudinal bar or 6 mm. So whatever the diameter we are taking, it should not be less than these two. Okay. So nowadays we are using 
8 mm bars, not 6 mm. So we are using 8 mm bar as a minimum die off bar for lateral ties. Now let's read the column reinforcement details. So there are two types of uh, reinforcement details. One, one is in the table form and one is in the detailed column schedule. So here we have detailed column schedule which includes main bars, lateral ties and uh, mix. In this schedule we have to follow foundation to stilt plus ground floor. As I told you before this building is designed for stilt plus three floors. So we have detail for uh, um, still to ground floor and then ground floor to second floor. Okay. So let's read it. First let's take column C1. C1 is 8 inch by 18 inch which is located here. So the main bars are 8 by 16 plus 4 by 12. So we have 8 by 16 and 4 by 12 as the longitudinal reinforcement. Let's see here. So this one is 8 by 16. So that means like you can count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have 8 by 16 and then this one uh, is 12 mm bar. 4 number of 12 mm bars we have. And lateral ties we have as Y 8 inch, 7 inch center to center. So the link is provided in this form. So we have two links. The first link is connected all the outer bars and then uh, the second one is connecting inner bars. Okay. So here we can check for the uh, lateral ties reinforcement details along, along with the code. Okay. So what is the condition we have? Least lateral dimension of compression member and then 16 times the smallest diameter of longitudinal reinforcement bar are 300 mm. So among these three whichever is less that one we have to use a, as a spacing for lateral ties. Okay. So let's see the least lateral dimension is 8 inches and next one is the 16 times the smallest dia of longitudinal bar. Okay. So here we have the small dia of longitudinal bar as 12 mm dia. 16 times 12 which is 192. And uh, next condition is 300 mm. So among these three, whichever is less, 16 times 12 is the uh, least value we have, 192 mm. But here we are taking in uh, inches. So we cannot provide uh, 192 in inches. So, th so that is why we have taken as 7 inches here. Okay. Next column C2, which is 8 inch by 18 inches. The reinforcement details are 8 by 16 and 4 by 12 which is same as column C1. Even we can make a group if the column size and column reinforcement details are same we can make it as a group. So here for better understanding I have taken each column separately. So here if you see this arrangement is little bit different. So this is called bundle bars. This uh, reinforcement arrangement is called bundle bar. Next, let's see column C3, which is 8 inch by 18 inch. Though it is having the same size as C1 and C2, the reinforcement detail is different. So here it is having the uh, longitudinal bar as 8 by 12. So this is different from other two columns, 8 by 12. And the link arrangement is like this. And uh, ties, lateral tie spacing you can check as I told you before because no, it is uh, uh, same size and uh, same uh, die off bar. 12 mm die is the least uh, lateral die of the bar, right? So that is why here all the tie spacing are same. Next, let's move to column C4 which is 8 inch by 24 inch. So this column is quite different because no, it is... Uh, the size of the column is varying from all the three columns, which is little bigger, 8 inch by 24 inch, and the reinforcement details are also different. 12 by 16, 12 number of 16 dia bar and 4 number of 12 dia bar. So if you see here, 
so this side six bar and this side six bar so total 12 bar 12 number of 16 dia bar and four number of 12 dia bar and here the lateral tie arrangement is little different so this is bundled bar arrangement and then um, uh, this lateral tie is, is having one uh, main tie and then there are two links other two links are there so this is the arrangement next column c5 8 inch by 18 inch so which is also similar to column c3 8 by 12 the longitudinal bar is 8 by 12 so 8 number of 12 uh, sorry uh, yeah 8 number of 12 mm dia bar next let's see for column 6 which is having 8 inch by 24 inch size which is similar to c4 but the reinforcement detail is different from c4 so here we have longitudinal bar as 10 by 16 that means 10 number of 16 dia bar let's check the lateral ties lateral ties spacing is different because the condition is least lateral dimension next one is 16 times the least diamond dia of bar right so here we have least dia of bar is 16 mm so 16 times 16 is 256 mm and 300 last one is 300 so among these three least lateral dimension is the lesser value so that is why here we took y8 at 8 inch center to center 8 inches spacing for lateral ties okay next c7 which is also similar to c6 and c8 which is having 8 inch by 80, 18 inch size and uh, the um, reinforcement is 8 by 16 so here also lateral tie is changed y8 at 18 center to center next let's see for c9 c9 is having 8 inch by 24 inch but the reinforcement detail is 12 number of 16 mm dia okay so here we have 12 number of 16 mm dia and the link arrangement is like this next c10 which is having 8 inch by 18 inch and uh, the reinforcement details are 8 by 16 and 4 by 12 lateral tie is y8 at 7 inch center to center next c11 which is having 8 inch by 18 inches and reinforcement is 8 by 16 8 number of 16 mm dia and lateral tie spacing is y8 at 18 center to center link arrangement is like this next cy12 which is 8 inch by 24 inch size reinforcement detail is 12 by 16 and 4 by 12 12 number of 16 dia bar and 4 number of 12 dia bar so we have to provide it as a bundle bar here and then um, the lateral tie arrangement is like this next one is c13 8 inch by 18 inches and uh, reinforcement detail is 8 by 16 that means 8 number of 16 mm dia bar and uh, lateral tie arrangement should be like this so friends this is the way you have to read the column reinforcement details next let's see typical reinforcement arrangement in column so this vertical bars are longitudinal bars and this transverse uh, horizontal bars are lateral ties. So here there is different arrangement when it comes to floor level. So here what happens is the column size is reducing when it goes to upper floor. So in that case we have to bend the bar like this and the slope should be maintained as 1 is to 6. So let's see here. See, this column size is getting reduced when it goes to upper floor. So in that case, we have to maintain the con continuity of bars by providing the maximum slope as 1 is to 6. So this is the typical reinforcement arrangement in column. Next, let's see few reinforcement arrangement in SP34. So here there are uh, many types of arrangements are given. So for example, this one is single tie and this is also single tie. And uh, here we have two ties.
that means the lateral ties are uh, different here and here we have uh, one tie and one link that means this is the tie tie bar and this one is simple link so this one is little different so here we have two ties and two links so the first tie is this one the four bars are tied together and this side also this four bars are tied together and this is one link and uh, here is one link two ties and two link and here we have two ties so one is in the square form and another one is in the diamond shape this these two ties and here also two ties and here one tie and two links yeah this one is the tie and uh, two links this is one link and this is one link so you can uh, see the typical arrangement of column ties figure 7.5 so this is a typical arrangement of column ties arrange uh, arrangement of bundle bar in columns so as i told you initially this is a bundle bar two bars are uh, tied together so that is called bundle bar so friends i hope you all like this video please do comment in the comment box your comments are always welcome and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos thank you for watching